Hello, this is a brief assessment of a Richard Lip upright piano that we have in stock. It's 130 centimetres high. Now it's got a beautiful figured walnut case here, which is in pretty good condition, though it would be improved with polishing, definitely, though there's no sort of uh, fading one part more than another. Uh, around here you can see a little bit of damage on there. I think there used to be a handle on there, actually. There are screw holes on the other side for a handle as well, so that, that would be uh, expected. In actual fact, interestingly enough, this piano, according to the serial, we dated 2006, but looked at the style, I would say it was older, and the handles at the side too, that, that would go with an older date. So it's a bit of an uh, enigma, this piano, actually, but it's extremely high quality. I would say the key tops here, although they're all together, uh, they're, they're actually uh, could think about changing these. Uh, there's no sort of tremendous damage on any of them. There's one here that's slightly damaged on the side. We could fill that uh, damage. If you, so I can't focus this properly. There we are. You can see the damage on that one there. Uh, but uh, you can see a big gap between them. Uh, that's, I'm not quite sure what's happened there. We could recover them if, uh, that, if it was desired to do so. But it's nice to have original ivories though. There's one slightly damaged there too, as you can see. Um, but they're all functional. They're, they're, all, they're all right. They do look the same as each other roughly. This piano was actually sold by us some time ago. There's an old RP number of ours, that's, that's 2004. Um, the 111 is the, the, the month and the, the number of, so it's 2004. 11 uh, would be November and the first piano in November 2004. Now there's inside styling as well suggests an older date, I would say about 1895, maybe even slightly earlier than that. Uh, just the way that that's made. Uh, but it's beautifully made, it's Richard Lip, and uh, has no, f no mechanical problems. It's been refaced at some stage. Um, I, well, we, we probably did that when we first sold it. We have done quite a bit of extra work since it's been back in. Those tapes there, as you can see, uh, we've replaced some of them, not all of them. Now we could replace all the tapes. Um, obviously it will cost extra to, to do that uh, from the price that the piano's listed us at the moment, but they could all be replaced. There's another one there that we've replaced recently. And um, they're not really that bad, but if we took them off and put, then we would probably break a few and then have to replace them all. They don't need to take them off. They're, they're lubricated already quite well. Um, this was interesting here. We had to actually cut into, in order to pitch raise it, which we did this time, I was actually cut something out of the case. I don't know why, but these tuning pins uh, require a very short lever. So unusually, we're gonna supply this lever with the, with the piano. It's actually written on it with Richard Lip and the number on it there. Um, but we're gonna have to supply it with the piano. Um, because otherwise it doesn't really fit in. Uh, really quite extraordinary. Uh, the reason they've got it uh, onto the case and the sides is to get longer strings, and if you listen to the tone in a second, you'll see how wonderful it is. So here's the bass tone. If we listen to this C here, just such a rich, warm sound. And going right the way through, very consistent sound. sound beautiful all the way throughout so tone wise there's nothing to fault it uh, when we first sold it we'd, we'd replaced the pedal caps so you can see these caps are actually new pedal caps here i see it's missing its bottom panel knob there in the middle that's uh, to help pull it out it's not necessary in a way but we would obviously replace that especially if we repolished it uh, looking at the soundboard down the bottom there uh, you can see that it's opened up there the planks have opened up it's not affecting the tone at all but if we did restring it, and uh, we'd obviously uh, uh, also fill that crack, but it's not really necessary in terms of tone. Look at how long the bass strings are there. They're going right across to the edge of the piano. Incredibly well built, very well thought out, very ingenious. See, there's a few shavings here from when we carved out the side of the piano to get to, in, get to the tuning pins. We'll obviously be taking those out. We've still got some work to do on this to finish it off. So that's a Richard Lip upright piano, 130 centimetres high, uh, beautiful figured Warner and um, just such a lovely rich tone. The lips are extremely good pianos, right up there with Steinway's um, Bosendorfer's. say if anything to be done on it we could do more refinements we could, uh, the action is nicely weighted at about 50 grams slightly uneven we could certainly work more on that um, extra work would be a good idea we could do things like the tapes just to to perfect the piano and also repolish the piano it is in good looking but it'd be even more special obviously repolished and uh, generally highly recommended piano the key tops 
And so there's quite a gap between the keys. That's quite noticeable to me. Um, but they are ivories. There's a possibility of changing them or just keeping them as they are. Uh, but I think if the whole case was done, the ivories would notice more that they are a bit unusual in some respects. Otherwise, the piano is really special. Highly recommend it. Slightly out of tune at the moment. Got to, got to be perfected and finished off with. And finished off. Thank you very much for listening.